Trap. Uh, Captain and the Pant and the Chair Flying Return of Tippy Twinkle Trapper 2022. Wednesday. Another day. Another awesome lunch for George and Harold and their classmate. The PIL Pizza Place has even delivered salad and bread to can Kinder Gardner had never been happier. At the day after restoring practice was over, Kipper, Grief, friend dashed back to their locker as fast as they could to see what personally then Kipper was going to do next. They were not disappointed. Kipper was already angry. He reached in his locker. He knew something was not right. What? He yelled at his friend. What are you guys laughing about? Dude, said Lugie, can I bring a teddy bear to... Can I bring a teddy bear to the tea party? Or is it just for dollies? <laughs> Only the three... Boys busted up laughing, laughing. Skipper grabbed Lugie's phone and read the message. I did not write this, Skipper screamed wildly. And I don't have any dolls at my locker here. <laughs> Kipper grabbed the key from the chain round his neck and locked his padlock and drew the locker door open with mighty crash. About 20 dolls stumbled out of the locker and fell into a pile of kipper feet. <laughs> kipper friend took each few step back. The Lord and do sure Whenever to keep laughing or start running. Skipper did nothing first, but she stood there looking down at the mountain of dolls at, at his feet. Mm, kind of mm -hmm. the, wow, what the kind of the wow, what Then he began to breathe, breathing heavily as he started to twitch. He scrambled originally at Kipper's feet, making it slowly up his leg. He reached Kipper's upper body, a shaking like a volcano that was about to explode. Kipper squeezed his fist into a tight knot of very as he breathed right foot and beginning to kicking the doll. <laughs> kicking the doll. Lu Xiao put his feet to where? He's kicking the doll. I hate you! I hate you! I hate you! Kipper screamed as he punched his pretty dollies up down the hallway. <laughs> Kipper friend had never seen a freak out quite like this. Kipper grabbed two of the bigger stall and started swinging them round and round, mashing them against his locker door and, and just about to say nothing. As else was nervously there came the chair and bidding and the stomping and the tickly, Lugie and Bug and Frankenstein decided it might be a good time to start running. <laughs> ah! Hmm? Hmm. They're going to run. They're going to run. They're going to run. They're 
他把这屁股弄掉了。嗯，他屁股哦， oh, 把头也分开了。他在发脾气吗？他他，嗯，你看这个，他屁股弄开了，被、嗯、上半身和下半身分开了。他，这叫上半身，这叫下半身。屁股。嗯。Keeper, great burst of a dawn that lasted about fifteen minutes. He caught a glimpse in a pile of lofty, fulfilling shadow dolly dresses and tiny plastic arm, leg, and head. Keeper just sat there, breathing slowly for a long time, stared nothing. Then Keeper thought about something. If he would. Finally, figure out the mystery of the edge. He stood up and grabbed his padlock from top of the locker. Carefully, he turned from the top of the locker. Carefully, he turned it over and over again in his hand, studying it. Really closely, aha! He exclaimed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.